This video is going to look at the sector search. Sector searches are not commonly run by marine rescue vessels, but it is an option which is available in our Axiom chart plotters. Sector searches concentrate your search at the search datum. You start your search at the search datum and you go through that point two more times before finally finishing at the search datum. The sector search is made up of three triangles. Each triangle is an equilateral triangle, meaning that all of these legs are exactly the same distance. Every turn that you make in a sector search is 120 degrees to starboard. So your first leg would be this one going to the north, do a 120 degree turn for the second leg, 120 degree turn for the third leg. I go through the search datum, continue on my fourth, fifth and sixth leg, through the search datum, seven, eight, ninth leg, and I end at the search datum. To set up the search, you would normally be in your chart plotter application, and there's two ways that we can start the search. To generate the search pattern, I go through the hamburger menu. I can go through waypoints, routes, and tracks, select routes, select searches, and it's a new search. In here you'll see the four different options available and for this video we're going to select the sector search. There is one other way that we can get to the same point and that is by going hamburger menu, new, search pattern and we're back to that same screen. So in here we're going to set up a sector search. So you can see that I've entered the menu where I can enter any parameters for the search. So the first thing to have a look at is the coordinates. Right now it's going to set up the coordinates or the center point of the search on the equator at the prime meridian. We want to enter in the coordinates for the search or if we are currently on station and we want to start our search from our center point where we are, we can just touch on this button which will center our search and it will use the, the position where we are now as the center point of the search. So for this one, we're going to enter some coordinates. So manually entering the coordinates and the coordinates that I have for this search, 33 degrees, 46 decimal 997 south, 151, 22 degrees decimal 621 east. If I save that, that's going to put a position on our chart and now I have these other parameters that I can adjust. So you can see that of these, of these three options, one option automatically changes based on the other two. So right now, if I needed to run a 0.8 nautical mile, I'd do it at 10 knots for five minutes. But if I change my time, if I change my time and I go up, so six minutes at 10 knots is gonna give me one nautical mile. So seven minutes, 1.2 nautical mile. And you can see that it just automatically updates. If I wanted to set my length of leg, I can do it through here, bring that to however I want it to be. So we're gonna go 0.5 of a nautical mile and we want our time for it to be five minutes and you can see it automatically updates the speed. For the first search that we're gonna do, we're gonna do a two nautical mile track spacing, which will be the radius of the search and each leg will be two nautical miles going from the center point out. So we're gonna do that now. So two nautical miles and I want to run it at a speed of 10 knots and you can see each leg will be 12 minutes. At that point I can hit the create search button. So here we have our search. Our first leg is going 0, 0, 0 or going to the north for 12 minutes. I do a turn of 120 degrees going to my next waypoint 
do another turn of 120 degrees where I'm heading towards the waypoint. I continue on that leg of 240 degrees for another 12 minutes before commencing the rest of my search. Each leg will take 12 minutes running at the speed that I have set. The total length of the search is 18 nautical miles. So you will also notice that I have my start point going through the search datum once, twice, and then finishing at the search datum. Once I've viewed my search and I'm happy with those parameters, I can hit OK, or I can go back and edit, edit any settings. If I'm happy with my settings, I hit OK. So here is the search that it has generated. You can see we're coming out of Sydney Harbour, Bluefish Point, this is Manly. So our search is just offshore from Manly. Um, each of our search legs, as we said, are gonna be all the same length and our first course will be to the north in this particular search. And if I wanted to remove the search or change any of the parameters, I can highlight and go route details and I've got all my options sitting in there. I can follow in reverse which would mean that my first leg would be going to the south. So that's that reverse option just there. So right now, if I had GPS enabled on this device, I would have the option of follow. It would take us and navigate us to that center point, and then we would go from there. Or if we started our search pattern and we press that button, which centers us in the middle, then of course, we would already be in that position and we would be ready to drive north. One of the limitations with the sector search is the fact that if you were searching for a person in the water, you can see as you come out here, you'd be able to search either side of your track, but you are missing quite a big section of water in here that you may miss the actual person that you're looking for. Sector searches are generally done with a maximum of two nautical miles when you're doing it for a vessel. And Realistically, other searches are a better option than the sector search unless you are very, very sure that the center point is where you are expecting to see your search target. If I have run my search or I choose not to use this particular pattern, I do have an option of removing everything by clicking on the search pattern clicking on more options, hitting delete, and I wanna delete everything, which gets rid of all the waypoints as well. With that, I have removed that search from the Axiom screen. However, if I go back in to the searches and hit new search, you will find under the sector search, it has retained the previous parameters of what I was using for a search. So if I wanted to move that, I could manually enter in a different coordinate or drive the vessel to a new position and hit the button that centers us in the position of the screen.